We have Parker Space Equipment in the International Space Station, ISS, and we end up seeing a uh, huge asteroid belt or a possible uh, shooting of a satellite or a satellite has got spunked. Basically, what I'm saying is satellite satellite may have gotten hit. But when we see the triangulation, as you can see, if you watch the black light and it looks like a reddish out there, to the left, the very left lower corner, you can see a triangulation and a popping. Okay. Uh, now we know, you, as you can see the clouds to the right, you can see that the ISS moves very fast on its orbit through space. But we can keep track of it, and so what we want to do is we want to match up the footage to this. So if people can go ahead and check that out, and I'm going to go ahead and speed because it gets quite boring after a while, but you can see the triangulation, and I'm going to point right here. And you can go back in the video, and you will see the popping, and now it's popping green. Now, there's getting to be uh, a major possibility, scientific fact. Okay, we know that we have rats, okay? When we see stars that radiate in space, they have long time presen been presumed and even been proven, I believe, by uh, satellites that have taken readings that there are stars in space that are radioactive. Okay, radioactive nuclei in Japan around the volcano attracts nuclei from outer space. And I've proved already factual by showing you footage that we are getting light propagation from outer space from stars and reflections like mirrors, like a satellite. Okay. Uh, if you watch this, it was black and red to begin with in the corner on the left, and you'll see it's also turning to the over that below that cloud. Okay, this is like an Oort cloud or or asteroid belt, and in this roundness over here, up here, and even sometimes full around here, and that may be our Oort cloud that we've been seeing in Hawaii and so forth and so on. Okay, so. We need to match up on date-wise this, this feed from ISS, and I will put a big thanks out to basically because BP Oiler disaster, BP Oil disaster on YouTube, he's the one that helped us find to see that this is going on. So as you also see, popping triangulation here also. So now this can be hella far out. This Oort cloud can be hella far out, and I the lingo of hella, but whatever, ladies and gentlemen, it's way the heck out there. Okay, these. Uh, but has this Oort cloud all of a sudden slipped from somewhere and very close? This is what's annoying that the idea that NASA's blocking stuff out from us. And it almost looks like they're putting some kind of, in the video footage, some sort of a blockage up. Now, we do know, though, that uh, NASA has put a big screen up in space, and we've seen some studies of that thing. It almost looks like that there's honeybees some kind of light, very small, well, they're not, actually not that damn small, but the idea that these little light propagations or things come to it, like honeybees on Earth, folks, in space, okay? But they're not bees, folks. What it is is light propagation, okay? But they have learned or been studying with something that propagates to something that they put up there, okay? What it is, who knows? It's all high cla highly classified. Now, there's stuff in, on YouTube videos that there's been people from NASA that have got pissed off that have bled stuff out on the YouTube. So you can go and see this stuff, okay? And now as you see, this cloud has gotten blackish in the, in the middle of it now, okay? So this is very important, very interesting, and it is real, and it's out there, okay? So uh, the space station is not trying to jump away from it. But then again, there's only so much that that space station can do for movement because it's in its orbit, okay? And there it is, folks. It's real footage from International Space Station, DL. One L O S, I believe. Okay.